Hello and welcome to the 2019 Frankfurt Motor Show. Now I will not be showing you all the car premieres because you've already seen that. <laughs> Today I will talk to you about car interfaces, something we already see in cars and something we will see in cars in the near future. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, so I'm in a car, sort of, uh, testing out something called the Coastal Drive Controller. And the drive controller is over here, it looks like a mouse, but uh, well, you'll see what it's all about in a minute. I start the car and uh, yeah, and I start driving go out on the motorway just like so everything is according to plan and now first of all i see things on a head-up display it tells me there's a car somewhere uh, approaching from the back the distance is safe the controller is either rising or falling depending on whether i can use it or not now it's rising i can use it i can take my hands off the wheel and now the car is basically steering itself all i have to do is hold the controller as long as i'm holding it everything is fine. I can also use it to accelerate or decelerate, which is also very nice. As long as I'm holding it, the car is steering itself. Now, if I stop looking at the road and start looking at you, I will, first of all, get some signs here. And second of all, in, if I don't start looking, I will get a vibration. Uh, it tells me to look at the road. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Now I'm looking here. Oh, there's an AC controller. Very nice, very interesting. Oh, and I get these vibrations. Eyes back on the road and hand back on the controller. Speaking of which, I can use the controller to scroll through my music, let's say. And now I shall up, uh, execute a very, very bad turn. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, a bit more, a bit more. Okay, and now the controller goes back up again and I can park. I just have to hold it still and now the car will do parking for me like so perfectly executed much better than i would have done myself and now it's going down again because it doesn't need to be in use anymore 3d displays for cars why would you need them apparently one of the use case scenarios is that 3d is better to uh, perceive a warning, for example. So if you're approaching a car, uh, it's better to see it in 3D. Another idea could be to better present uh, general information. As we know, there's more and more information on the display because uh, there are more functions in the car. So this is another idea. Now, the 3D effect can be scaled up and down. So for example, if you have nausea, looking at it, it doesn't mean that you're going to see it all the time. So you can adjust it from 0 to 100% if you really like it. Or you can use it only for certain functions and you want to see functions like, for example, um, your navigation in 3D but everything else in 2D. That depends on you. Anyway, it's uh, an interesting feature and soon enough we may see it in our new cars. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mark. Okay. okay, so what is happening? The, um, first of all, you, you already saw that the steering wheel was yes. in a locked position. So, so now it goes... You know, after closing the door, it's mm -hmm. uh, more or less in the, in the zero mm -hmm. position. If I open it now, will it tilt? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Okay, so this is to make getting in yeah, and out easier. Getting more space and also, if it is locked, you can... Uh, Grab it. Yeah, you can uh, more or less... Have a better. Um, you can. How it is called? You can hold. Yes. While you gra uh, gra grab it to exactly, enter. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And now it's released. Yeah. Then the active back lifter was mm -hmm. also moving up. So if so I. Uh, for an easy back lift. Okay. And if you buckle up, it's moving down. Oh, and, and the whole the whole seat is. Yeah, exactly. And there's a sound played. Yeah. That, that, so the topic is that we would like to simulate and show here uh, more or less system functionality mm -hmm. and the, the main uh, key messages are um, personalized cabin mm -hmm. so first of all you have an ingress position you 
feel comfortable uh, while entering mm -hmm. the car and if you are in a more or less close to the driving uh, we have a camera system interior sensing okay, which, here it is. Is, uh, uh, do a, uh, which is doing a classification mm -hmm. and it's bringing you closer to the steering wheel the steering wheel moves up so we recommend a position mm -hmm. or at least we are uh, we bring you bed, uh, closer to the steering wheel and to all the um, uh, buttons you have to okay. uh, push or mm -hmm. press before start. Okay, now you are in a position. You can also adjust if, you, if it is for you. Yes, I would probably like yeah. to sit a bit more like this. Exactly. Maybe the steering wheel a bit. It's only a proposal. So yes, okay. Okay, and then we have as well a uh, magneto rhetorical uh, fluid uh, joystick more or less and you can also there we can do in you, we can um, have customized haptical uh, feedback mm -hmm. so we have a uh, rotarial so it's more it's a topple yeah, yeah. And you all also hear the sound so it's yes I can hear the sound yeah, yeah. exactly because we would um, it's natural we would we would talk with all your senses yes Visual, haptical, and and if I move it forward, yeah, you can all. It's another. It's a different sound, yeah. yeah. It's a different sound, so it should be a in, in, uh, intuitive use. And if you go for, to the main menu. Oh, and I see it stops when I. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you are. This is not allowed, so you yes. are at the end of the list. So Mercedes not, does this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to uh, look to the to the multimedia mm -hmm. yeah. because it's intuitive. I know. I know. It's okay. the okay, end. If yeah. You go there. For example, you can tilt. You can also change the language because in a lot of rental cars, you have the problem uh, that you don't uh, understand. I have one yeah. Word was Chinese, and I didn't mm -hmm. find the, the change of language. And then we also change the driving uh, needed information. Mm -hmm. So now we have the English version of the yes. Please break, and then we can start driving. Yeah, exactly. And you have to, you have to uh, press a little bit more and go to start. Okay. So here you see. The visualization mm -hmm. so okay it's green start the engine is mm -hmm. on and now we have a okay it's a swipe a okay exactly. it shows me to swipe exactly you understand the complete system Great. okay okay then let's drive am i in gear no you are in gear you have okay the D and okay the D. so i'm just oh, exactly. okay we also have uh, built a headquarter in friedrichshafen so it's uh -huh. more or less realistic on the left side you see as well the velocity so you can drive and you are still in manual driving so it's yes. no level three no level four it's mm -hmm. level two we have uh, supporting functions also uh, with combined driver systems and in a, a loud area we have uh, uh, automated driving um, mm -hmm. street so in this area automated driving would not be permitted no. This is manual driving. You also see it in the hoodie, so the information is you have. Yes, I can see we're yeah. approaching a speed limit. Yeah, it's 50, so you can. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we're approaching 30. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is more or less a, a, a timely sequence. Mm -hmm. We call it soon. So all you only get the information for the current uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So it's 50 now. It's, you see that the 30 is coming close and close, mm -hmm. and now it's 30 because you're under 30. Yes. And if you drive a little bit, you feel now that... Uh, uh, there is a, a bit of vibration. Yeah, exactly. This is based, we have a steer-by-wire solution here. So you have uh, no... No... Uh, there on the right side. Okay. You have no... There are, there are no indicators. Yeah, there are the indicators. Oh! Yeah. Oh! It's a prototype, so... Um, okay. We have a steer-by-wire solution, so mm -hmm. you have no... Uh, I think Ferrari has indicators here, yeah. so... <laughs> No, for the steel by wire and the road feedback is more or less via software, mm -hmm. driven by software because you have. Oh. So and this, normally, this was not your braking which stops you. This was more or less the, the ring around the car. Okay. Is the we call it aura. Mm -hmm. So the car is braking for you. So it's the more or less the ACC function, but mm -hmm. combined with other one. And you feel as well the uh, retractor on the shoulder, I think. Uh, not this time. I felt okay. it uh, when we started okay, moving. Yeah, this is awesome. So then we go around. Yeah. Oh, around. Uh, no, yeah, roundabout. Okay. And then, uh, right. 
right side? Yeah, exactly. If you feel dizzy now, you don't feel dizzy now? Uh, not yet, but okay. Uh, okay, and we'll be going. Uh, right side? Exactly. So now we're entering uh, uh, more or less a motorway. And also the, the steering angle. Mm -hmm. It changes. Yeah, and the tr uh, normally you have to grab in, 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 in yeah, more or less 90 degrees mm -hmm. corners. But because of the uh, steer by wire solution, we can also um, support this via software so we can limit the mechanical angle. So now you already get uh, information that we are now in an AD zone. Mm -hmm. or close before the uh, automated driving zone. Okay, so AD available. Yeah, wait oh. a second, it's not, you are still in manual seat yeah. on the top of okay. your display and the blue uh, sign is coming up and as soon the blue sign comes to you, it's allowed and you also get a visualization yes. and, and the sound and now you can push the AD okay. and you're driving to a comfortable position. Oh. It's no relaxing position, you are still, mm -hmm. you have still the I'm, I'm able, I'm able to take yeah, over, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Okay. And the blue uh, light should visual as well that you are now, uh, or the car is now uh, mm -hmm. in charge of driving. So now it'll, it should take me to take over or? Wait, wait, what's happened? So we have several escalations. So mm -hmm. You can take over if you want, but mm -hmm. you can also wait until uh, the car is requesting you uh, to take over again. Okay. And I can also see uh, blue lines exactly. in, the, in, the, exactly. in the mirrors. Exactly, yeah. We try to have uh, also the visualiza um, visualization okay. now. And you see the uh, lights are going yeah. coming to you. Okay. So the second, you can still wait if you want. All right. Second is bringing you. Please take over. Now you oh, okay, now I can feel the. Get the haptic warning. Yeah. And the Please beach. take over now. And now you can take over. And oh, she's very ready. persistent. Yeah. The vehicle will okay. now stop to because you stop didn't react. And, switched off. and now we said, okay, maybe something happened with the yeah. driver. It's actually quite. Yeah. <laughs> this is, um, yeah. This is the active control rejected mm -hmm. because maybe you are more or less, you get a heart attack or things like that. This should only simulate that's also mm -hmm. possible to, to, to do a safe stop. Right? Okay. All right, and we're back in the... Uh, then we are sorry. back in the headquarters. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. So now if I, okay, if I stop... Yeah, and you... Okay, so now we're okay, going and back and the... You buckle up. This is more or less... Uh, okay, if now... If you're entering the car, because... Okay. Um, if you buckle up, mm -hmm. uh, of buckle up, yeah. Or if you... Uh, unbuckle. Unbuckle, thanks a lot. Mm. It's a long day. Mm -hmm. If you unbuckle normally, you can also uh, go. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, aim to the. Yeah. But uh, handicapped people or um, also older people often have the problem with the back or, mm -hmm. or things like this, and that's why. And also the center consoles are getting uh, higher, higher and higher and thicker. Yeah. And that's why we would like to have mm -hmm. an offering position to, for easier accessibility. Mm -hmm. And as well, we have the lightning. Yes. It, it's, uh, yes, it's flashing. To exactly. To show you um, mm -hmm. where to buckle up. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. So, how do you like the car interfaces of the future? Is this how you imagined them? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe, rate, and share. New reviews every Friday. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.